Kevin just called, said he's got a couple of clients who have a really cool project they want to talk about. And Kevin sounds pretty excited about it. He didn't get excited about much. So if he's into it, it's bound to at least be interesting. These guys have a 57 T-Bird, and they want to restore it for their father. And it's Already the, love it. Yeah, and it's the E. Eco. Yeah, they called them E-Birds. Uh, that was like the factory high performance version. That's a really a, a rare thing. It makes this car that much more valuable. They want to redo it. Yes. And they want to keep it all original. Perfect. And then surprise their father with it. Dude, first off, gentlemen, that's extremely cool that you guys are doing this for your dad. What's the background on this car? I've been hearing about this car since I was about five years old. Um, it's a family car. It was owned, I believe, by my dad's father's cousin. Nice. And they bought it original in 57. Yep. It actually was able to buy it from still family. Really? So this car has been in the family since new? Right. Yeah, this is something my dad has wanted to have done. He's wanted to rebuild it himself and has been talking about it for a lot of years. So this is, uh, this is gonna be something really cool for him. Is your dad gonna have any clue of where is this car? Because, I mean, it's gonna take some time. He's in Alaska right now and gonna be up there for a while, so okay. we just used that and said, here we go. <laughs> what kind of shape is she in? It's pretty rough. We <sighs> we're pulled it out of a pasture for him, so it's been sitting in the pasture for a few years. <laughs> oh, boy. Hide the story from him as long as you can, and we will do our best to try to get her done in, in as timely a manner as we can with a car like this. It'll be a challenge, but I think we can do it. I love it. I dig it. All right. Do your thing. All right. Come Thank you, guys. guys. Thank you, Danny. I'll see you guys later. Well, the car is done, and today we're going to give Jim and Ty's dad, Herschel, the surprise of his life. He thinks he's here getting a special VIP tour of Count's Customs and that there's some local news crew here covering an event as well. He has no idea, man, that at the end of this tour, he's going to see this gorgeous T-Bird that's actually his. Being car guys, do you guys have cars? Do you guys do? Well, I do. <laughs> what do you got? 57 T-Bird. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Dude, I just finished mine. You'll, you'll dig that. It's around the corner. You'll like that. You guys got to see the inside of this thing. <laughs> hey, Ryan, what's up? Ryan, this is Herschel. Nice to meet you, Herschel. Ty. Ty. Nice to meet you, Ty. And Jim. Nice well, I'm you. good. Herschel, you said you got a T-Bird, so uh, you'll probably know some of the things about this car. You got a 57. Tell me about it. It was actually my uh, my dad's cousin's car. Really? It's a family car. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully one day it'll look like this. Well, it's a challenge. I can tell you, uh, there's, there's a lot of unusual parts on these cars. Like, almost every piece and part, it's not like they cross-reference to a lot of the other anything. Fords. It, it, she was a real challenge. What kind of shape is yours in? Like one to ten. One. Is it white? Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is it now? It's got a little it's, rust on yeah. it. I'm kind of smelling that, that the car probably is not a one or a two or a three. It's probably a straight up 10. Straight 10. Yeah, I mean, the bottom line is I've been lying to you the whole time. This is your car, Herschel. Your family is a beautiful, beautiful group of people. I like your family. That's your car, man. <laughs> I wish I had family like that. <laughs> Drive it now. <laughs> yeah, we're, man. And we're not messing with you. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This ain't no joke. This is your ride. I'll tell you, when this little bird finally got to us, she was in worse shape than I thought and had some of the worst rust problems I've seen in a while. But I got to say, our team completely blew me away and left no detail untouched. Now, because this baby is a numbers matching car, it was important that we kept that same original engine block. So we got her all cleaned up, rebuilt, rewired, and kept her running on that same beautiful engine that's kept her alive since 1957. Then Polly worked his magic on her interior restoring her to look like she just came off the showroom floor. And finally, Ryan finished her off with a fresh new paint job that would make anyone stop and look twice. I think she's a 10. I think it's a 12. I think you're <laughs> right, bro. We went nuts. Uh, we really did. It happens to be a two-top car, so it's got the convertible top tucked away behind the seat and the removable hard top, which is a great option. Look at the interior of this thing. And under the hood, Every nut and bolt was redone on this car. All the wiring, every little bit that looks is so clean exactly as it was. This whole car is just is just <laughs> awesome. You know, just you just let them shut. You hop on in, man. Try her on. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> They're low. I was a lot younger the last time that I started one. Wow. Man. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, sweet. Purrs like a kitten. Yeah, and the clock works. <laughs> <laughs> and he died and he noticed that one. 
Man, seeing that look on Herschel's face when he found out that this beautiful little T-Bird was his made the project all worthwhile. Tell you what, man, it made me so happy that we could make Herschel and his family's day. But pretending that this T-Bird was mine got me thinking, I might need one of these in my collection. I better get on that. Ryan, why don't we head out the front, brother man? Works for me. All right. So we'll have to get her out and get her ready to ship her to Texas. Yeah.